Okay, hi my loves. I have a quick little video for you guys. I wanted to do an unboxing and a reveal of my two newest sunglasses. One is Fendi and one is Saint Laurent. And I want your opinion, what you guys think. I think I went a little out of the box with this one. This one is pretty normal for me. I feel like I've had glasses like this from Amazon, but I wanted like a little bit better quality ones that would last a little bit longer. So I'm excited to hear your guys' thoughts and open these babies and try them on with you. Go on, block your ego. Your ego. Your undying, undying ego. Oh, look here he go. Okay, so let's start off with Fendi. I was not looking for sunglasses. I have a problem, but I was walking through Nordstrom and actually looking for sunglasses for my husband um he has like one nice pair from louis vuitton and he loves it but he wanted something a little bit like lighter so i ended up getting a celine pair for him and i if i can find it i will try it on for you guys it's so cute um, i love that celine for the most part is unisex like there are definitely like more larger lab glasses for women but they have like great men's styles that are unisex and that i might probably steal from him but i digress I was walking by and I saw these sunglasses and I was like, these are so different than anything I've ever seen. And you guys will see why. So let's open this together. Okay. So we have, how cute are, is the sunglasses bag? It's like a like shiny, like neoprene vinyl bag. And then it has like a little keychain on it. I just thought it was so cute and different. And it comes with the Fendi glasses cleaner. It actually comes with an authenticity card. I don't have anything Fendi, so that's kind of cute that it comes with that. And then these were $390. So, and that was from Nordstrom. So, um, got it in store. But, these are so crazy. You guys are going to freak out. These are them. So they are a cat eye, but they have a cutout. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is a glass cutout on the sides. So you can actually like, it's like space. There's no glass there. But what's cool is that they finished it in like a white coating on the side of the glass to match the rest. So it says Fendi. And what's really cool about these, I thought it was so cute, was it has the Fendi F on the end of the ear arm bar i need to work on my sunglasses terminology but ready now be honest if these are too much so i've been like looking for cat eye because that's like the one style i do not have and i looked at balenciaga i've looked at saint laurent but none of them really spoke to me. And then I saw these and I just thought they were so cool. A little futuristic and a little different. I'm gonna see if I can get closer so you guys can see. What do you guys think? I think they're so cool. They're just so different. I don't like, is this a style that's been out for a while? Cause I feel like I've never seen anything like these before. So these are called the Cutout Cat Eye by Fendi. That's just what they're called, that's their name. They've got a little Fendi, and then they've got the Fendi at the end. Um, but yeah, that's it, like, how cool. So I haven't actually worn these yet, but I wanted to like pop on and just like show you guys. I'm excited to wear these. I feel like this would look so cute with like some athleisure, like if I'm wearing like black leggings or biker shorts and oversized hoodie. I just feel like with my hair back would look really nice. And then I also can see this as like on the beach or at a pool, just like really cool, different looking. I just think it makes the outfit. Like I feel like it's the centerpiece of the look. Like go for the clean girl look where you're wearing just like, I'm a very minimalist person. I really like showcase my style with like shoes, bags, and sunglasses and I feel like that's just how I kind of like accentuate my style is with like little key pieces like this so 
weird right but cool i mean like tell me am i crazy are these like kind of ugly my, <laughs> my husband was like uh they're different i don't know i just i like what i like i just can't, i can't help it i like what i like it doesn't matter if everyone else likes it but i just thought they were so cool all right i need your guys' thoughts okay so those are the fendi the cat eye cut out that's number one okay putting it in this bag i mean i don't know what this is where this is going to fit in but uh what kind of bag it's going to fit into but it's really cool i feel like it's going to keep it really protected and just like sporty looking okay so that was the fendi so next up is saint laurent i don't know where the box is for this um but comes in a plain saint it says saint laurent i think right there i don't know if you guys can see right there on the bag on the bag on the sunglasses case it also comes with the saint laurent authenticity stuff a little sunglasses cleaner and this one's more basic i feel like everyone has a pair like this but i just wanted a nice one that wasn't from amazon like i wear my amazon ones all the time but they like bend and they like break so i wanted something a little bit more high quality this is the saint laurent these are called the new wave I believe the new wave cat eye and just like very normal squared cat eye and I just think it's a staple that I needed in my collection so I have a lot of square I have a rectangle from Chanel with the two-tone I now have a cat eye that's like super futuristic and then this one which I just think is like easy can go with any outfit and I really, I owe you guys an updated sunglasses collection video because I wear mine so interchangeably um, for different seasons, for different reasons. Like if I'm on vacation, I bring a certain kind. So I have a few that I really, really love. Um, my favorite brands so far have been Celine. Um, I just love their sunglasses. I feel like they're such great quality. And then Chanel has been awesome. So those are my two favorite right now. But I feel like these might be... These two might be real contenders. So super simple. There's really not much on these sunglasses, which I like. It just says Saint Laurent on the side, but very otherwise very plain looking. Um, but these are them. So what do you guys think? I mean, these are easy. Like these are an easy, like, yes, they go with kind of everything, throw them on. They're not really gonna go too much out of style. Um, but I want to hear your guys' thoughts on the other one. So let me know what you guys think. Am I crazy? Do I look like a weird futuristic like alien bug with the other ones? Let me know your comments below and I'm gonna like probably post like a poll on Instagram. Please give me your thoughts, but I think I love them. I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, do I love them because they're different or do I love them because I just really just am drawn to something that is a little out of the box i don't know i'm weird let me know if you guys are the same way like i like what i like if someone doesn't like i remember when the kusan bag came out nobody liked it they were all like this is ugly and i was like this is so cool i need it and like now i think everyone's kind of like come around to it i mean some people probably just are never gonna like it but i just thought it was so cool and i wanted it and then i had to have it and so i'm just like i i marched to the beat of my own drum so let me know your guys' thoughts on these. I think I think they're different. I mean, this is it. This is pretty basic, but these ones are pretty cool. So thanks for stopping by, guys. I promise this was a short video. I probably rambled on about these sunglasses, but if you have any thoughts, if you guys own these, please let me know your thoughts on these and where you found them and if they've been around for a while. I would love to know. This is the first thing from Fendi I've ever owned, except for like the Fendi skim tights. This is the first Fendi item I've ever bought, and I'm kind of into it. I wish we had a Fendi store here in Nashville. We do not. All right, guys. Thank you for stopping by my channel, and I love you. Bye.